Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, me, Jacob, my first part of Star Wars Beyond a Galaxy. Today, I am going to be playing some Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, the, uh, the uh, pretty successful Star Wars mobile game. Um, me and Eli, we've both been playing this game. Uh, Eli a little more consistently than me, but I've been playing it pretty much on and off since it came out. So maybe I guess I'll start by uh, taking a look at my roster here. You can see I have uh, Commander Luke Skywalker, Thrawn, Han, Palpatine, Chewbacca, C-3PO, Bastila Sean. There's C-3PO. There he is. So you know I have a I have a pretty I have a pretty solid roster. Um, I'm not a I'm completely free to play. Always have been. Always will be. Uh, no no whale in here. No Siri. No. So you know we got some. Uh, we got some good things, we got some bad things, but uh, this team serves me pretty well. I usually bounce around in the 400s and 300s in Arena. My next big project is, uh, as you can see here, I'm gearing up for um, I'm gearing up for Padme Amidala. I got my uh, I got my Geonosians almost uh, ready to go. A uh, few more, few more uh, gear levels, a few more stars, and um, should have myself a Five star Padme. I'm hoping in maybe two to three months. I think that's a good timeline. So today, what I was thinking of doing is going to be some Grand Arena Championships. Um, this is three v three. I have not played three v three in an incredibly long time because of the sporadic nature of my Swago gameplay. So. I missed the last championship, so that's why I'm carbonite. But um, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get some. Oh, think I can uh, get some work done here. I'm currently second place, so not bad. I won my first battle, so I'm hoping that I can take another win here against Killer. And I'm just gonna go in, and it looks like ooh, I already got cleared. So let's see, one battle, one battle. So, no holds. Oh, two, two holds for the Ewoks. Wow, yub nub, they're putting in work. My gosh, my golly. Yeah, one battle. So, it seems like they cleared it pretty easily. So, I'm thinking that this is going to be a light defense. Yeah, look at that. 33,000, 40,000 galactic power. 37, 42. Yeah, so... I'm going to go look at their roster. I'm seeing they could possibly have like a really stacked back row of defense. Oh my gosh, they have General Hux. Holy moly, what are they doing in my level? Jeez, look at all these gold characters. You guys saw I only had one Relic 3 character and like one other gold character. Two, no, two. Jeez, look at this. It seems like they have a very, very top-heavy roster, which at the moment is pretty good for the way the game is working, but I think I can use that to my advantage and see if I can clear everything that is going on here. The problem with this is that it's it's gonna come down to, can I clear their stuff better than they cleared mine? Which I probably cannot. Nonetheless, I'm gonna get right into the thick of it. I think I'm going to start off with this Sith team. Now I'm going to go at them with my Jedi A team. I think I'm going to save Ezra, actually, and maybe put in Ahsoka just because I don't really need Ezra. Now, the good thing about this team is that I'm pretty much, because of the protection up, or I hope that I'm pretty much guaranteed to get the full points for full protection and 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 everything. So I think this is probably gonna lot net me a lot of points here. Goodbye, Vader. Boom, 54 points. Got the victory, got all the bonuses that I could. As Droid Squad is next. This doesn't look too difficult of a SWAT. IG Chopper. 
They could output some serious damage here though. So maybe I'm thinking an Imperial Trooper team is gonna be good for this. There we go. Start off, let's increase everybody's cooldowns. Got a mass attack going on Chopper. So, and the good thing about this team too is it's also going to allow us to regenerate protection when uh, when there is a, a death on the enemy team. I'm not sure why that's not happening right now, but uh, finish them off. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, this seems... This just seems like, how do we get the most possible points out of each battle? That is the question. So, I think I'm going to want to take out this team first. And I can use... Actually, I'm going to go, go for these guys. I'm going to use my rebels. Oop, forgot the tag. Let's see, right here, bada bing, bada booey. This might actually be kind of overkill. I don't really know, but whatever, let's just do it. Let's do it. They put everything into offense, and so did I, which makes this a little awkward. But, yeah, we're going to get full protection bonuses, 54 points. Very good. If we can clear these all in one battle, I should be able to win this. But the thing I'm worried about is ships. Let's see, what other rebels do we have? Maybe I should use... Hmm. I'm trying to think about this. Rebel. I think I'll use this team. Leia's lead is not the best, but this is a... Uh, this is a very solid uh, team. Oh, I did not. The one thing I'm now realizing is they have a tremendous amount of healing. Yeah, maybe this was a bad call. Oh no, of course she dodged it. That is just, that is just fantastic. And we don't have any way to get back. I lost protection. So this may not have been a good call. Still gonna get 52 points. But, mm, I could have, I think I could have played that better, to be honest. So now we got the ship. Alright, this should be easy. Thrawn, we're going to take in Biggs and Wedge's X-Wing, along with um, the TIE Advanced, and these are our reinforcements. Um, I'm not super good at ships, but I like that team because it kind of helps regenerate um, Wedge's, or uh, Biggs's, um protection whenever you get we get a target lock and he taunts also so it's like a kind of a good way to make sure that everything is staying tanky and protective boom that's game that was easy 62 points for that not bad at all ggs only oh boy this is gonna be close i think 1455 to 1788 all right come on Come on, team. We got this. I feel like these are some weird squads. These are kind of like a Chex mix of little, like the Chex mix. You got the pretzels and the, the peanuts and the little the little pretzel logs and the little waffle wafer squares. You know, you got, you got a team. You got Resistance Pilot with Thrawn. This is kind of throwing me off a bit, but I'm just going to. Go into it now. Let's start with uh, our Empire team. Hopefully, this will make quick work. I want to... Um, I think I actually want to fracture Darth Sidious. Because he, he can be dangerous because of all the dots that he can pile up. But we should be able to pass this with full protection by um, yeah, using Thrawn's... He, Thrawn, I love Thrawn, he's probably my, one of the favorite characters I have in Sogo. Good plug and play character, look at that. Stance protection regeneration, perfect, perfect, shining, f passed with shining colors. I don't even know what that means, that's not a saying. 
Let's go on to the next one, guys. What we got? We got Zalbar. They didn't even put Zal... What, are, what is this guy doing? He didn't even put Zalbar and... Didn't even put me and Big Z. What is... This is a, this is a tragedy, truly. Look at this. Me and Big Z forever? I don't think so. And that could be good for us, though. I think we still have a Jedi squad that we can use. Or not. <laughs> okay. Maybe a uh, Republic team. Maybe I have something... Uh, mm. This is a little... That seems a little dicey, so I'm just going to go with... Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with um, good old... Good old, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't really, this is looking a little, uh, looking a little funky at this point. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to put in, oh gosh, I guess Kane and Jerus. This team doesn't really, I just realized the problem with this team is that we have no damage dealers, but I think we should be able to, uh, to get some work done and not lose a lot of our potential points. Let's get some foresight going. Come on, Jedi. It's all the, it's the, this is a tank support squad, so maybe this wasn't the best idea, but I gotta, uh, I gotta make do with what I have at this point now that you know what it's like at the end of all these battles, just getting down to the dregs of the roster, the last little Trying to, trying to squeeze out the last droplets, you know. Just wringing it out like a like a cheese sponge or something. I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing. You know, the... I don't know. They use this thing to make cheese. And I thought it was like a cheese bag. A cheese bag. It's a cheese bag. All right. Call everyone to assist. Uh-oh. He's got the taunt. It's a regen. Oh, no. Regen some protection. Kanan is almost, but not quite, back at full protection. There we go. And now Yoda is not at full protection, which is kind of a bummer, because I don't know if he can regen that. That should do it. Yeah, there we go. Another big hit. Almost there. Boom. Goodbye, Royal Guard. Boom. Another hit. One more. Come on. Yes. Kenobi carries it. Oh, look at that. And we got 54 somehow. Amazing. I didn't think it could be done with that squad. So now we really are kind of... Hmm. Hmm, let's see. What do I... What do I actually, I'm just going to go see what dark side can muster up. We can... We, we have some good... We have some options. I don't really... Hmm. Okay. I think I'm going to go with a weird dark side combo team. Sith. Old Sith Order. And, uh oh. That's not good. Alright. I think we can do this on the first try, though. It's a stun mission vow. Big hit there. Stun, big hit, goodbye. And the problem with this team now is that there's not a lot of protection or regen, I think, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a little dicey. We might not even get the full health bonus for some of these. But ooh, mm, Oh no. Big hit, come on. Eleven thousand, not bad. Another big hit. Held by hatred. Awesome. Go off. One more. Oh. One more. Pretty clean. 52. Alright. This is it. The final tally. And I did it. We did it. I won. We won. Amazing. Fantastic. Incredible. I didn't... I honestly didn't think that was going to happen, but, um... We, uh, yes, feels good. Not quite as, um, I actually recorded a whole, uh, a whole video of this with Sundown Shogun. It was much more exciting, um, as, as you can see, but, um, 
it didn't uh it, I didn't um, I didn't get the audio levels right and it was almost inaudible which is sad because it was way more hype than this but you know that was a uh, pretty good I think um I think I'm not sure what other content I can squeeze out I guess I can do an arena battle show off try to show off my uh, rebel squad at least um this squad um it's it's pretty good the problem is it's kind of like a uh, it's like a train. Oh yeah, no, we're done. It's like a runaway train where once it gets going, it can't be stopped, but it can be stopped kind of easily. Like before it gets going. Oh jeez. Yeah, this is... This is not what I want. Yeah. This was bad. It's, well, you know, failure is the, the best teacher, as they say. Couldn't even kill Scion. Rip. F in the chat, everybody. So, yep, that's uh, that's about how all my arena battles go, you know. Pretty hard trying to contend with all these uh, relicked out teams. They got the Zetas, they got the relics, they got they got all the they got all the fancy stuff. But I can't promote Ahsoka. Boom, that's good. So I think that is gonna be a wrap for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, more content coming soon. Uh, this was been, this has been Star Wars Beyond a Galaxy. Um, make sure to check out the podcast, Star Wars in a Galaxy, where Eli and I talk about all things Star Wars. We are currently going through discussing and analyzing The Phantom Menace bit by bit. It's a slow process, but, you know, we like to be, um, we like to be as fastidious as we can, like a, uh, like a probe droid, Imperial probe droid. Finding all the little nooks and crannies, all the Easter eggs, all the uh, conversation material we can possibly squeeze out of it. Uh, make sure to follow um, uh, Twitter. Um, In a Galaxy Cast is the uh, the Twitter. We have a, uh, a subreddit now for any uh, just questions, theory crafting, just a fun place to hang out, chat, you know, talk about your Star Wars ideas, opinions, artwork, anything. You name it, you bring it, we'll look at it, it'll be fun. And uh, make sure to uh, check us out on uh, Spotify, there's uh, Apple Podcasts if you like that, Anchor if that's what you're into, uh, Breaker if you're a Breaker person. So yeah, um, new uh, new podcasts on all those uh, every Friday at 5pm. Later! Hey again, Jacob from the future here. I just realized that I forgot to put the first three questions and my answers to them for the Star Wars challenge into my Star Wars Beyond a Galaxy Galaxy Heroes gameplay video. So I'm going to do that right now and then it is going to be uh, dubbed in at some point, I believe. Number one, all time favorite Star Wars character. That is an incredibly, incredibly difficult question. I have a lot of characters that I really, really like in Star Wars. Kanan Jarrus, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, super amazing badass characters. But at the end of the day, I think the character that I like the most, so right now, I'd say it's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, he is just, um, he just goes through um, this crazy evolution that we get to see and it's really cool in the movies and the tv show and everything how you get like the young eager potty one you get the um you get kind of the warrior master and then you get the the old grandpa the um the the wise mysterious hermit and i just love every single stage um i read the um i think it's called master and apprentice the book about him and uh, Qui-Gon and it's just really amazing and kind of deepened my respect for what the Star Wars franchise has done to him as a character and yeah I just really like that he's not special he is not the chosen one he's not the product of like some crazy midichlorian force stuff like Anakin but he's just he's just earnest and hardworking, and he keeps his head down so he's a grinder and I just really think he's a cool character, and I really like him. Number two, favorite member of the Rebellion. This is another really challenging one. 
I'm gonna go with, mm, this is hard. I've thought about this for a while now, before, but I, I can't figure this one out. Because there are a lot of people I like. I love Ahsoka Tano. I love everyone from the Phoenix Squadron, pretty much, from Rebels. Maybe, um, I think I'm going to go with Princess Leia. Might be my favorite member of the Rebellion. Because at such a young age, she starts, like, working underground, creating connections. Like, even when she's, like, a teenager, like, not even 21, 20. She's, like, when she's, like, 19, 18, she's, like, doing mercy missions quote unquote smuggling supplies to the rebellion in the um in the in one legends comic i think when she's 16 or something she even goes face to face with the emperor pretty much and like um he's trying to like say like you can't be in the senate or something she says no 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 i'm gonna take my place nothing you can do about it and she's just a really awesome courageous character especially in the rebellion era i was a little disappointed that in canon in the sequels they decided not to make her a jedi but um i just she, she's like an awesome character no doubt about it um and she's just like i like that um in the original movies like it was so cool like seeing her taking charge during the rescue like she's not just some damsel in distress like She's like a poli- she's like a badass military commander, a politician, like a leader. And I just I really admire her. And um yeah. She's awesome. What can I say? Next up, uh last question for today, we have favorite member of the empire. This actually I think is the easiest one. It's got to be Thrawn for me, and I think I think Eli would agree. I hope I think a lot of people would agree that it's got to be Thrawn just because he's so different from any villain we'd ever gotten previously in whether it's canon, whether it's the canon books, whether it and whether it's the legends books, whether it's rebels. He's just so different from anything we got previously. The way he's super analytical. He's not um how do I, he's not like um caught up in the infighting the way um he's not worried about politics the way these other imperials are. He's not like a glory hound. Like, um, he's super competent. He's not a glory hound. He is super scary. Not, not like in terms of personality per se, but just like, he is so, so sinister. Like in Rebels, it's like, oh my gosh, this guy means business. Like, the, he is not gonna, he's not gonna let you off the hook like the other Imperials are because of his incompetence or something. So I just think, um, I just think he's really cool. Very cool character. Whether it's canon or legends. Very awesome. Very scary. Um, sadly, in canon in Rebels, he gets swept away. And I guess temporarily, probably, I'm guessing. I don't think they'd kill off Thrawn. Um, killed by space whales, temporarily. That being said, though, I think that just shows what a in how, what an insane villain he kind of is. Where... They had to take him out of the story because if he was in the originals, I don't think the rebels would have won the Galactic Civil War, to be honest. So I cannot wait to see what um what Lucasfilm does with uh with Thrawn next. Hopefully it's as good as what Timothy Jean did, but um we will see. We'll see. <laughs>